It is day six of DIY December, and today I'm going to be putting my own little spin on the term DIY. Normally when you think DIY, you think of like crafts and projects and recipes and stuff like that, but I think it can encompass so much more, including your attitude. And that is what I'm going to be encouraging you guys to do today, because I am going to be going out to Toys R Us, and you are coming with me, and we're gonna be picking out a bunch of toys and donating them to Toys for Tots. Excuse me? I have some sniffles and I'm currently getting sick. By the time this video goes up, I will probably be in full-fledged sickness, but I apologize for any sniffling or stuffiness that you guys hear throughout this video. I am encouraging all of you to go out there, seize the moment, do it yourself. Don't wait for somebody to ask you or to tell you to do something. Go and just do something nice for somebody else, even if you don't know them. So I think it's really important every day, but especially during holiday season when it is the season of giving back. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'm really excited to do this because I know as a kid, Christmas morning was like, Oh, the best day. It's like the one day of the year that you look forward to and having the opportunity to help out families that may not be able to get presents for their kids really means a lot to me and I think Toys for Tots and the Salvation Army do an amazing thing every single year. I think it's an outstanding program and the Salvation Army is one of my favorite organizations because they put so much back into their organization and they really help out a lot of people. Before I head out, I am going to show you guys really quickly what I'm wearing today just because I thought that would be fun. We're kind of doing a throwback to Vlogmas here and doing this whole video vlog style. So I have everything laid out here that I'm wearing. So I have on my CoverGirl foundation. This is the 3-in-1 in nude beige. And then I just like doused myself in the Winter Candy Apple Body Spray from Bath & Body Works. And I got this because of Casey Holmes. She recommended the Sun and Bronze bronzing powder in Fire Island Tan. So that's why I got this. And it's an amazing bronzer. It's not super dark and it has some shimmer in it but I think it's great for my skin during this time of the year. And then I have on my NARS Alhambra, but there it is. And I normally mix the two colors together, so that's what I have on my eyes today. And then underneath that, I used the Milani Shadow Eyes in Champagne Toast as a base, the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore, and my new Smashbox Primer. This is the Dark Spot Correcting one, so I'm gonna use this for a while and see how it goes. And then on my lips, I'm loving this combination in this is actually my first day wearing this, but I have on the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine in number 17. And then I have on one of the Alme Liquid Lip Balms. I've worn this one before, but not with this color, but I really like these two together. And this one is Just Plum. For my outfit, I don't have a full length mirror right now, so this is gonna be like a janky style outfit of the day. But I have on my cozy baggy sweater, one of them from Forever 21. This is like the darker one. And I've talked about this in one of my videos because these sweaters are amazing. They're super soft and really warm. And then I have on this like long turtleneck sweater that's a little bit baggy, but I really like how it looks. Um, it's from Brandy Melville. And then I have on my California state necklace from my bobble bar collection. And a couple rings on this one is like a little heart ring. And then I have on my little bow ring also from my bobble bar collection. And then down below, I have on these um, leggings, which I actually need to use a lint roller now that I'm looking at my legs here. Um, these Fleur actually got me the last time she was here. These have like paneling on the sides that I think are really flattering. And there's also these zippers up here. So they're kind of like pixie pants. And then I have on my Sam Edelman black boots. All right, guys, we have arrived at Toys R Us slash Babies R Us. And I'm actually, now that I'm here and I see that there's a Babies R Us, oh my boot just came undone and the car's gonna pull out and I'm gonna get run over. Um, <laughs> now that I see that there's a Babies R Us, I actually wanna look for some stuff for Rachel, um, Rachel Talbot, 
my friend who also makes beauty videos. Um, she is going to have her baby really soon and she's having a little boy and I'm super excited and I want to get her some stuff. So I'm gonna look at baby stuff while I'm here too. I have my cart here. It is currently empty and I'm in the boy section because I want to save the girl stuff till last because I got really excited with the girl stuff. Now, I was never a boy but I did enjoy playing with boy toys when I was younger because I was like a huge tomboy. So there are a lot of things to choose from. So I really liked playing with cars when I was younger, but cars did not exist. Like the, the movie cars didn't exist. Um, but I loved playing with like toy cars and like tracks and stuff. I don't know if any of you girls out there were like that when you were younger, but I like loved it. Like I loved stuff like this when I was younger. So like I loved these little cars. So I'm thinking maybe I should get like some of these. First thing in my car, I went with this Jeep just because I thought it looked really cool. I think getting like something cars related would be cool. Just, you know, for like the younger kids. Um, oh, they have plane stuff too. I still haven't seen that movie. I really want to see it because I saw Monsters University recently and I thought it was so cute. So tell me if I should see planes because if I, I like Monsters University, would I like planes also? Oh, a track. Oh my gosh. Okay. Gotta get this. This looks like it'd be super cool. I just reached like the Disney Pixar jackpot. Let's get a Sully doll because I really like Sully and this would be like something cute for like a little kid and something cuddly. I also want to get some Legos too because I think those are a classic. They have here, they have a Spongebob one. How cool is that? That's really cool. Just gonna put that in the cart. Oh my gosh, look at that one up there. This is really cool too. I'm gonna get this one. I'm just like, I am like a kid right now. I decided to go with this just because I think this would be something cool for like older kids to build. Then we have the Spongebob one, the other Spongebob little racing track. I got some more cars and then the Sully doll and that Jeep that's underneath. So my car is already kind of full. This is the city pool and they have like a little high school that's so awesome. I think the pool one looks pretty cool. I feel like My Little Pony is kind of a big deal right now. Like even boys enjoy My Little Pony. I actually might get this just because I think little figurine toys are cool. I think I'm also gonna get a little plush toy too. So let's go. I like the blue one. Let's go with this one. Does this one have a name? I'm sure somebody out there knows this one's name. Oh, Rainbow Dash. I like this one because it has a rainbow on it. Oh man, guys, I might need another cart because I just filled it up. So I have no idea what these are, but little girls were like going crazy over them in this section. So I got a bunch of these dolls because apparently they are a thing. Um, I think it's like, yeah, it's a series on Nick Jr. Lala Loopsie. So I got the Crumbs Sugar Cookie Doll. I actually think these are pretty cute. So um, I also got a Winter Snowflake and that's what she looks like. And then I got little Bob Heat and that's what she looks like. I also saw this and I thought this was really cool. This is like a really stylish Barbie. Barbie never looked like this when I was younger, but I thought she looks awesome. I love her outfit. So now I'm in like the puzzle and game section, just looking at the games because I think games are also a great gift because it really gets everybody together. Oh my gosh, they have a Disney princess candy land. This is going in my cart. Even though I wasn't like super girly when I was younger, I did like some girl things. One of the things that I loved was Belle. Belle was like my favorite Beauty and the Beast. I like had to have everything Beauty and the Beast. Ouija board, wanna stay away from that. <laughs> We're not even gonna go there. Not sure what this is, but okay. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh my gosh. Enchanted cupcake party game. Mix, match, and make cupcakes in time for the party. Wow, oh my gosh. This actually makes me think of the Sacconi Jolies and Anna because she loves cupcakes. And I think this is so cute. I kind of want to get this for Amelia, but it's for kids three and up because it has like small pieces. So it's like, 
not really good for a baby. I'm adding the cupcake party game to the Toys for Tots pile. And this, I guess I will do this in honor of Amelia and Anna and the Ciccone Jolies because this reminds me of them, but I can't get it for Amelia, otherwise I would. And hopefully some little girls out there really enjoy this. I have more stuff in my hands right now. I got a Tinkerbell doll. This set of Disney princess dolls because I realized there's a rack underneath the cart so I can add more so that made me really excited so I am literally just gonna fill up my entire cart till it can't hold anything anymore all right guys my cart is loaded up and I'm going to pay and then drop this off in the toys for tots bin so yeah I've got a loaded cart and the rack down here is filled with stuff too. Everything is here in the toy drop-off bin and it's kind of taking over the bin. Um, the nice girl at checkout actually um, put everything here and there's like a pile here. She's like, they're not gonna fit so I have to call somebody so I filled up the Toys for Tots bin, but I'm really excited and all of these are going to be going to kids that will hopefully love these toys. I just got all of Rachel's stuff too, so I'm really excited to give her all of her baby gifts and that is going to be it for my DIY December video today. I hope you enjoyed this little spin on do it yourself. If you guys go out this weekend and donate something to Toys for Tots, even if it's just like a little toy, take a picture and use the hashtag DIY December so I can find your photos on Instagram and Twitter and it would be amazing to see you guys participating in something that I just did. It's a lot of fun to just go out and spend a little time picking out things and then being able to give them to kids who are really going to love them. So yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!